there's a new game that was announced just recently that caught my attention. And that doesn't happen too often these days. But um, we have Retrieval here, which sounds very similar, the name anyway, to Returnal. Of course, this has nothing to do with Returnal or that studio that made that game, Housemark. Instead, what this game is, it's a survival horror action-adventure game from a new studio, 333 Studios, or 333 Studios, however you want to say their, their name. It's a very strange name for a studio, but that's nothing new in the gaming business. And the interesting thing about Retrieval here is that it looks oddly similar to another survival horror game that came out not too long ago. Another sci-fi survival horror game that did not meet expectations and underperformed in both reviews and sales. Helmed by Dead Space creator Glenn Schofield. And of course, the game I'm referring to is The Callisto Protocol. The Callisto Protocol is one of the most disliked games from this generation of gaming. A big part of that were due to uh, severe performance issues on PC, although I personally did not experience any severe performance issues. Maybe it's because I upgraded my drivers before I started playing the game, which I, I assume most PC players don't do, but that's just me. Another reason is because the, the story for the game was disappointing and it did not live up to expectation. But another reason why the Callisto Protocol didn't take off with um, audiences is because the combat system didn't catch on with a lot of players. The combat system in the Callisto Protocol placed a, a heavy emphasis on melee combat and really downplayed um, combat with ballistic weaponry, which is very strange for a survival horror game. Now, it's because of that emphasis on melee combat that I personally appreciated the game more than most other people. As far as I'm concerned, Callisto Protocol is an okay game. It's not a bad game. It certainly had issues, but I don't think it deserved the, uh, the low scores that it got. But still, nonetheless, I must acknowledge that the game did not meet expectations, and it wasn't popular. So we have Retrieval here, which is set within the same genre as Callisto Protocol, that has a sci-fi theme like Callisto Protocol, and it seems like another studio is trying to do something like this again, but successfully this time. Unlike the studio that made the Callisto Protocol, which is Striking Distance Studios. So if I go on the Steam page for Retrieval, the description for this game reads, Join Hannah Losh on a perilous journey into darkness, uncovering secrets and facing its deep drama story full of terrifying challenges on the distant planet uh, Rihalian. And we get more details below. Dive into a deep narrative filled with unexpected twists, exploring themes of friendship, love, loyalty, and horror. Assume the role of Hannah Losh, commander of a research team on the distant planet Rihalian. Accidentally stranded in a mysterious retrofuturistic subway base, Hannah uncovers the chilling secrets within. Navigate through a ravaged world where survival is paramount, encountering relentless challenges and terrifying adversaries at every turn. Experience gripping gameplay, immersive storytelling, and rich character development as you unravel the mysteries of retrieval. With atmospheric and amazing visuals powered by NVIDIA, and haunting sound design immerse yourself in the chilling atmosphere of this captivating adventure and a uh, release date and release year has not been announced now i've added this game to my wish list here on steam because i'm just going to keep an eye out on it they have not shown any gameplay for this game but i do want to note something about the survival horror genre which is arguably my favorite genre in gaming Survival horror games are some of the best, some of the most well-made games in the industry um, due to their meticulous attention to detail and uh, what they require of the player in terms of skill, in terms of attention to what's going on on screen, to things like item management and level design. Survival horror games are some of the best games that you can play out of any genre that exists in the gaming space. 
And because this is not based on, you know, a major franchise and this is a new IP, I'm always interested to see, you know, what developers come up with. But I do want to highlight something about a game like Re Retrieval. And I believe this is also part of the problem that Callisto Protocol ran into. Survival horror games, as good as they are, they typically are attached to big name IP. Whether it's Resident Evil, uh, the Alien franchise, Silent Hill. Um, they have a uh, survival horror game coming out in October, late October, uh, with, with the first person game um, based on the A Quiet Place franchise. They got that Jurassic Park um, survival horror game that's in development right now. Just using some of those as examples. The one outlier in the industry would be Dead Space. But Dead Space was never that popular in terms of its sales numbers. Uh, the series was never a big, you know, console selling franchise. And then when EA tried to make it a bigger game than what it actually is supposed to be with Dead Space 3, they effectively killed the entire franchise. And interest in the series has not increased. Rather, it's decreased over the years, which is why the Dead Space remake didn't do so well in terms of its uh, sales performance. I think part of what went wrong with the Callisto Protocol is that it wasn't a big franchise. It, w it wasn't something that was based off of an already established uh, license. And typically, for a game to be successful in this particular subgenre, it really does need to be attached to a major license which is what the market performance of these games have basically told us over the years. Retrieval may be different. It may be that one game similar to Dead Space that breaks the mold, you know, a new IP that comes out that shatters expectations in the survival horror subgenre and becomes a, a massive success. But already this game is going to have challenges. People are already comparing this game to the Callisto Protocol, and other survival horror games, but particularly the Callisto Protocol, as I also did myself. Um, people are already starting to ask questions about what the gameplay is going to be like, and uh, when you make a survival horror game, the comparisons between your game and Resident Evil is just unavoidable, especially if your game is a third-person perspective survival horror game. The comparisons with Resident Evil um, is just something that developers are going to have to put up with because without Resident Evil, there would be no survival horror. Survival horror is Resident Evil. They're going to have to find a way to avoid the trapping of the game being compared too much to Resident Evil. Now, that did work for Dead Space because Dead Space's biggest inspiration was the gameplay from Resident Evil 4, which is a big part of the reason why Dead Space became a success. But Dead Space also had a number of ideas that hadn't been attempted before. One of those ideas was having no traditional HUD on screen. The HUD in the game was instead inserted naturally on the, the player model. So this game is going to need some new ideas in order to help it break the mold and, you know, achieve its full potential. And since we don't have any gameplay details at this time, it's impossible to say exactly, you know, what this game is, is going to offer that's going to be different from the usual that we get from games in this uh, particular subgenre. And when it comes to uh, 333 Studios, it would appear that this is their first game, judging from their, uh, their website right here. And it uh, also appears that um, they're located in Barcelona, Spain, so they're a foreign company. That within of itself, I'm sure, um, will face its own particular set of challenges for this game. So, so right now it's impossible for me to really give a, a definitive take on this game because we haven't seen gameplay for it. There have been no major details regarding the gameplay or the story, we only have like a, a brief log line of what the game is actually about. We got a CGI trailer of what it looks to be the game in-engine, but beyond that, we don't really have anything else. 
The only thing I can say is that in order for this game to be successful, it's going to need new ideas and it's going to have to find a way to separate itself from Resident Evil in particular um, in order to stand out. Otherwise, it's just going to suffer the same fate as the Callisto Protocol and it's going to be a bomb, a flop on release.